Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do a quick video today um, about making a coffee scoop. Um, now I've just picked up a nice new filter coffee machine um, and it comes with a really sort of shoddy little plastic thing um, and I thought, you know what, why not make my own? Um, and it, you know, it's not something I've made before um, but to be perfectly honest, you know, it's not that much different from normal spoons so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, now you should see up on this corner of the screen, I think, um, a quick video of me just kind of trimming down, knocking off the edges of this piece of birch, just a piece of um, seasoned wood that I had lying around the workshop, nothing special, um, it's completely dry, um, I've had, probably had this piece of wood for a couple of years just sitting around um, in the half round um, and that's what I'm going to be using. Um, so what I'll do, I think I'll move the camera a little bit closer in and we'll make a start. Right then guys, so to start off with, I've just got this piece of birch and to secure it, I've actually just screwed in a piece of waste wood onto my bench, put a couple of my little pegs in and to start with, and get it in, I just want to kind of squeeze that down. I'm going to tap the pegs in and you know, it's relatively secure. Um, I may need to move it around a few times. And um, for today, I'm going to be starting off with my Twooker cam. This is the smaller of the two, um, and that's what I'm hoping to use to make this bowl. Um, now, because of the angle I've set myself up at, I'm going to be using my offhand, which I'm not particularly used to. Um, and all you want to do is start off with a kind of a, a scooping motion, a rocking motion, just to get the bowl started. And I mean, hopefully you can see there, I mean, this is just sliding through, you know, this is a really sharp tool, it's really well made. Um, and what I want to do is get a bit of an impression in here first. I've left myself a reasonable bit of waste wood at the end, so I'm not quite sure how big this bowl is going to end up. But you know, straight away you can see the beginnings of that bowl. And I just need to get it deep enough which actually is not going to take me very long at all, I don't think. So that I can start turning this round in a full circle. Where are we? So that's probably deep enough, I'm not sure, I'll give it a try. And what you want to do is sort of take your Twicker cam and sort of turn it round in a full circle. So that's not quite deep enough yet. So I'm just going to carry on just deepening this out slightly. So that might do for us. Let me try this from another angle. And actually we can start to get that turn. As I say, this is very dry wood, so it doesn't necessarily like me doing this. What you kind of need to do is keep coming at it from different angles to keep it round. And obviously when you go against the grain, it's does try to tear a little bit, but because it's so sharp, you tend to get away with it. Or at least reasonably. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to carry on for a little bit. I'll probably speed for a bit of this footage um, and we'll come back when I've made some progress. So that's probably about deep enough for now guys, hopefully you can get a bit of a feel. You know, my thumb 
probably about halfway between the bottom of my thumb and the first uh, knuckle, I would say. Um, and the thing with coffee scoops is it's more about having depth than it is about having the overall size of the bowl. Um, now I will be sanding this so that will bring it down a bit, but I will also lose a little bit off the top. So I'm just going to very quickly tidy this up off camera and we'll come back and make a start on the shaping. Right then guys, so that is the bowl all sorted, just need to do a bit of sanding before we finish. Um, and what I've done, I've just very, very vaguely marked out a rough spoon shape. Um, I'll, I'll be um, amending this as we go along. And I've put a line down here, which is where I'm going to cut it off. But before I do that, because this bit on the end gives me a nice bit uh, to grip onto, I'm just going to use my axe just to knock off the corners and generally refine it down just a little bit before I move over to a knife. So that'll do for now, and the trick here is to remove as much waste wood as you're comfortable doing without getting so low that you end up going through the bowl. Um, now you can see hopefully just here, I'm not sure if that's picking up alright, there is a little bit of a crack developing. Um, that's probably because this is quite a dry piece of wood. Now because this is only going to be used for coffee grounds and I'm going to be sealing this with oil and beeswax, I'm not too concerned. It'll either carve out or it'll just be a little bit of a defect. Um, so what I'm going to do very quickly is just cut this in half um, so I can get it down to the size that I want it. And I'm going to keep this little piece of wood because I think I may make another scoop out of this another day. Um, I've got another idea for how I can do it slightly differently. So we'll keep hold of this. Um, and then with this piece, again, all I'm going to start doing is working down to some of these lines just to give it a rough spoon shape before I move over to the knife. Right then guys, so that is where we are so far. Again, it's very rough and ready, but you know, it's starting to look a bit more like the coffee scoop I envisaged it to be. Right then guys, well that's where I'm gonna leave it for today. Um, there's a little bit more work to do on this uh, with the ax and then the knife. Um, and I know that some of my series have kind of dragged on for a little bit, especially the, uh, the eucalyptus bowl. So I'm envisioning that this is going to be a two-part uh, series. Um, so we've roughed everything out today. We'll finish everything off next time. Um, and hopefully, you know, it's not going to uh, leave people having to wait weeks on weeks to see the end of a finished project. Um, so I hope it was useful. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks, guys.